I ordered Mansur Ada burnt at the stake. You prevented that order from being carried out. You showed mercy to Mansur Ada. The king's word is law. Perhaps you should ask the Davos how much mercy I show to lawbreakers. Show too much kindness, people won't fear you. If they don't fear you, they don't follow you. With respect, Your Grace, the free folk will never follow you, no matter what you do. You're the man who burned their king alive. Who then? You? No. Only one of their own. Do you know this wretched girl? Lyanna Mormon. The Lord Commander's niece. Lady of Bear Island. And a child of ten. I asked her to commit her house to my cause. That's her response. Bear Island knows no king but the king in the north, whose name is Stark. That amuses you. I apologize, Your Grace. Northerners can be a bit like the free folk. Loyal to their own. Oh, no. My brother Robert went on often and loudly about how difficult it was to control them. Even with your father's help. Tonight, the Night's Watch elects a new Lord Commander. Sir Alistair Thorne is going to win. Most likely. Unpleasant man. He thinks you're a traitor. What's your life going to be like here at the wall with Thorne in command? Unpleasant, I expect. Your bravery made him look weak. He'll punish you for it. I don't punish men for bravery. I reward them. I don't doubt it, Your Grace. But I'm a brother of the Night's Watch. I pledge them my life, my honor, my sword. I don't know what I have left to give you. You can give me the North. I can't. Even if I wanted to, I'm a bastard. The snow. Kneel before me. Lay your sword at my feet. Pledge me your service and you'll rise again as John Stark, Lord of Winterfell. <laughs>